My name is Matt Dirsch, and I am a professional engineer, and I design bridges. And today we're going to be talking about the Francis Scott Key Bridge and the latest updates on the recovery progress. All right, there are several things in this video that I want to point out. There's a, at least three or four distinct operations going on here, and we'll cover each of them. The first is this crane right here, which is the Chesapeake 1000 crane. This is the 1000 ton crane. It has picked a piece of the steel truss from the main span unit of the three span continuous truss. And it is removing that piece and it's going to go take it over to the Trade Point Atlantic uh, Sparrows Point location for ultimately the disposal of this bridge section. They are working on the temporary channel right here. So that piece was actually removed exactly where the temporary channel is. You could see right here in this frame it was behind this pier which is why we know it's in the main span and it's related to the temporary channel that the army corps is working on reopening the next operation to take a look at is this operation right here which is utilizing two different crane barges um, the bar the crane on the left you see right here he is lifting up a weight and dropping it and he's doing this over and over and over again and the reason why he is doing this is you can see just right here the remnants of the half of this truss that they already cut off and removed this has a concrete deck sitting on top of it and by lifting up this weight dropping it on it repeatedly they are crushing and, and smashing up that concrete deck which will enable them to dredge it out for removal. The way they're going to be dredging it out is with the machine on the right. The crane on the right has a clamshell right here. You'll see in one of the final frames of this video here, it actually lifts up right there. This is the clamshell. And after the, the weight has smashed up the portions of the bridge, that clamshell will turn around, grab, and pick it up and remove it. In the background, we have the Weeks 533 crane here. This is picking the uh, the containers off of the dolly here. This is the operation that the Weeks 533 is doing right now. Just one at a time. Sometimes they're able to lace together three of these containers at a time. 533 is picking up and placing down on a barge. Uh, this is a part of the greater effort to uh, refloat the dolly in order to the plan in order to refloat the dolly is to remove um, not all of the containers I think they need to remove around 300 or 400 containers and I think they're about halfway there uh, also an interesting thing to point out here is the three span approach unit here uh, off the screen right now there is demolition work happening in the third span of the steel plate girder spans um, and, and it's actually in the most shallow water where they're working right now. Once they are done in that span, they will move to this additional location. You can see we have light poles here uh, from the remnants of the bridge deck. So underneath here, we still have the full bridge deck and the full plate girders that will need to be removed. Thank you very much for this quick video, guys. We're going to be more. Um, it's actually one of my first videos ever, so bear with me here. We're going to make it better over time. Thank you very much. And again, my name is Matt Dirsch. I am a professional engineer and a bridge designer. And this is the Francis Scott Key Bridge.